Hello. Um, my name is Emily, and I wanted to make this video to talk about uh, a disorder that I am living with. And um, I know there's a lot of other people out there living with this disorder that are fully aware of what they have and just don't want to talk about it either because it might come out wrong or, you know, it's not an easy subject to talk about. So I kind of wanted to share some of my, some of my stuff and maybe it would help some people out there to share theirs or just to relate. Um, so the disorder that I am talking about is borderline personality disorder. Um, my story is, you know, it doesn't really come from a medical, medical perspective. Um, when I was 15 years old, um, I had a psyche valve. And then when, when I was 17, because, um, I grew up with a bipolar mother who, um, stopped taking her meds and she basically, to sum this up, you know, tried to kill herself, and DCF got involved and took me away at 17, and I dealt with, you know, growing up with a bipolar parent or a parent with any mental disorder isn't easy, and it's even more likely that you're going to, you know, have a mental disorder as well, but I never thought, I, like, I never thought I'd have anything, I just figured I'd deal with the pain of her doing what she did, and etc., but I never really dealt with it. So anyway, when I had these psyche valves, um, they said I had BPD, but nothing was ever done about it. So, uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for someone to get home. They find out I'm, uh, you know, spilling out my heart about my problems to a YouTube video. They might be a little put off, <laughs> but what happened is, um, I didn't really realize the full extent of the, the symptoms and the issues I have regarding BPD until now that I am 18 and I am able to kind of, like, as you get older, I feel like you start to see what you're doing and you start to evaluate yourself more. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, the biggest issue I've had with BPD is relationships and friendships. Um, my whole life, I've never really had stable friendships I've had like in middle school it really scarred me in high school I bounced around from high schools because of the foster care because I was lashing out for attention so I never got you know how a lot of people have that steady friend group but I noticed that I had um I was always afraid people automatically didn't like me like they had something against me and I would put as I still do everybody on a pedestal, you know, and I want to, I want that person automatically like me, even if I don't want to be their friend, like, say, you just look at someone and think, I wouldn't get along with them, but I still want them to like me, um, but I, you know, it's just, I'm always afraid that they just, they're just not gonna like me, um, Relationship-wise, uh, when I was 16, uh, well, another thing I should add, I don't know if it plays into BPD at all, but, or if it even matters, but I never had my dad growing up, it was just me and my single mom, so, uh, I don't, maybe that's a part of where my fear of being alone comes from, but, uh, at this point in my life, I cannot be alone, I am terrified of the idea of being alone, I have been for a very long time, but, um, it scares me to think of being alone, like, I get, I start thinking, I start getting a bad feeling in my stomach, I, I just can't deal with being alone, um, that's another one of the things that comes from borderline personality disorder, um, actually, if I were to pull up all the symptoms, because I'm still trying to figure it all out, you know, you can read it and say, oh, I definitely have all that, but to actually show you guys who don't know about it, um, well, let me get the internet going up, but, so, 
when I was 16, I had a relationship where, I, you know, at first, I, this guy fell for me, and, um, you know, it was great at first, and then I started just doing stupid things, um, I, you know, I only, I always wanted him to be there, he always had to be there for me, and, uh, <laughs> I was really attached, and, you know, I would set these high standards for him, and um, then I'd get really angry at him, and I would start, like, pushing him away. It's, the thing is, like, he, I, he made me happy, but I completely pushed him away. That was my first relationship, and it ended up abusive on his behalf because of how far I pushed him. And then when he left me, I couldn't deal with it. Um, it was so tough for me that it, I almost became crazy I you know a hundred phone calls I had to go to court I didn't know when to stop um I just that fear of him not being there I I wanted to hurt myself I wanted to I could it's hard to sum up how it feels it's such you feel like you've lost control over just someone that's leaving um even if a friend is to cancel plans sometimes it feels that way and I and that's the borderline and it's tough. So fast forward, um, my current life. I, uh, my BPD has definitely messed. I'm not saying I didn't play, you know, it's all, oh, it's all borderline's fault. My life's a mess right now, but it's definitely affected my life. Um, I currently work at Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell. Um, I'm in college, but I need a job to get me through college, or at least to give me some side money. You know, how hard could talk about me? It's one of the easiest things in the world, right? Who wouldn't be able to pass and do well and succeed at Taco Bell? Um, so I get hired there. I'm not concerned about anything, but how am I going to make friends here? Is anyone going to like me? It's tight quarters. You know, I have to wear a uniform and they're not going to see me for me. So they're not going to be able to know me for me because as a person, I don't know who I am enough to go in there even with a uniform on and be myself and make friends because I'm not, you know, that's it's not easy for me. It's not because I'm antisocial. It's not that at all. It's because I don't know who I am and I don't know if I'm making sense for anyone that has it, but it's tough. Um, so I got the job and, you know, at first I was really, really into it. Kind of like the semester at first, I was really, really into it. Uh, and that's also another story for me in my borderline. I have all these different plans and then I stop, uh, before I finish my talk about story, I'm in school. I don't know if anyone else has been through this, but... I signed up for four classes, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to pass, and it's going to be amazing, and I'm smart enough to do it, I know, and I can do it, uh, but then I'm like, wait a minute, and this is, I'm not going to pass, you know, I have to go in there and talk to these people, and they probably really don't like me, or maybe they do, but I don't want to deal with it, I just want to get the work done, and oh, also, this professor, she, I must have done something wrong, I don't know, probably. So I'm not going to go to class. I'm not going to go. And I'm still going to pass. But I'm not going to think about it. Because I have talk about. That's my mind. And there's a borderline. And that might. I don't know. But it's like. <sighs> you know. I could have gotten all A's this semester. And instead. I didn't go to class. So uh, at Taco Bell. I missed a couple of days. Because I'm impulsive. And I'm like. I'm going to do this and this and this. And it's not going to affect it. And um. I have a really hard time making friendships at work. People think that I am, I don't know what they think, maybe snobby. I think they all hate me, so I don't talk to them. I don't talk a lot because I think they already hate me. And in reality, I don't, in reality, I would love to know what they thought of me. I love hearing what people think of me because I don't know how I come off to others because I don't know who I am. And that's such a major part of having this disorder is not knowing and having to please others and act like others so that they like you and being yourself through others because if I was just me living alone and didn't know I had these people I wouldn't think I existed and I don't know if I'm making sense I don't know um 
yesterday at work, I got called in. And uh, my manager, one of them anyway, said, Emily, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but everyone here is not very fond of you. And first thought in my head was, what? Because, see, I'm sure they all did it first, but something I did got them all to not like me. And I overanalyze, and I don't know, and uh, that just, it really, it's not easy for me. Like, I get it, social anxiety going into that place every day. And I, it's just not a good work environment. I don't know what it is about that place, but. I think it's for people that are more sure of themselves and I don't want to be a part of it anymore. So I think I'm probably going to, um, you know, say goodbye. Um, this video is getting long. I know I just ranted about all my problems and there's so much more, but all I can really say is, um, living with borderline is really, really tough, especially the ones because deep down we all know we're a good person and we all want to be happy. And we all want to be sure of ourselves. And we want to have an awesome, steady relationship. And we want to have awesome friendships. And we don't want to cause all these people all the stress we do. I don't know. Um, go to th I've, if, you're, if you can relate to anything I've said, please let me know. I've never, ever opened up about this. I feel like everyone's probably going to laugh at this and think, okay, sure, yep crazy bitch but it's not easy and there's others out there and I think with help and with people you can talk to about it it makes it easier and just to relate because I know I've watched videos on here about borderline and I've related and I don't know it gives me it gives me a sense of hope so um have a good day guys and thanks for listening if you did